all right guys welcome back to another episode of a favorable knee diy and today we're going to do the replacement of this hybrid power pack uh, for a while now uh, this is the hybrid power pack that came with the vehicle and uh, for a while now i've been seeing some code being prompted on my screen uh, so right now i feel maybe the fuse or something within the system is fault uh, because uh, even despite the fact that i tried to change uh, the individual uh, cells or models within the unit uh, I'm still seeing that uh, the Abbey Power Pack is uh, not uh, functioning as the auto. So for that reason, I went to go get me a replacement. Uh, the replacement is what I'm going to be swapping in with this old unit and then see how far it goes. Alright guys, before we get into the video, can you click the like button? Don't forget to leave a comment, share this video and also uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Also click the notification icon so you can get notified whenever we upload new videos. All right, guys, without much ado, let's get into the video. So for this job, the very first thing we're going to do is just disconnect the terminals. With that done, the next thing we're going to do is take off this switch, this kill switch by the side of the hybrid pack. Also note that I got my gloves on. I got double padded gloves uh, because this is high voltage uh, uh, device right here. This component has high voltage and it could pull fatal. So you advise to ensure you wear gloves. And make sure you have, wear heavily insulated gloves. Uh, I see some people trying to walk with their bare hands. I look at it like they're walking on tightrope, you know, trying to walk on the edge of a knife because they don't know where this, you know, this circle is going to call, I mean, it's going to have a leakage and then the next thing could prove fatal because it could really electrocute them to death. So we, we take precaution on this channel. We wear gloves. And then the next thing we're going to do, we take off all the knots on this side and on the other side too. Just dry it to 12 millimeter. Take it off. So all the nuts on this row is 12 millimeter. Take it off. This two is 12 millimeter. Put it off. In a container, we can easily locate and reach them and use them back again. Pop this clip piece up. Take its uh, black uh, ventilation uh, hoses off. Take the screws out here. I mean, the nuts out here. Uh, for this uh, vent uh, fan or motor. Got three. So this is one of them. Take this one off. Got one there and got one on the other side. Disconnect uh, the terminal with uh, the power to the middle. Let's push it back and then be able to disconnect. Then you can wiggle this off, this holes, vent holes on this side. Wiggle this one. All these things as you're taking them off, make sure you keep them somewhere safe that you can easily reach so you can use them back up when you need it again when you try to put the old, new unit or the replacement unit back. In. So you can wriggle the model out from the vent casing and then you take it out. I'll put the wires separate and got this little bit of holes on your hair. Just try to pull it gently. I don't know if you can see that. Well, I got it off already. And that's it. Right there. And then we got some row of knots on here too. We take it out. It's another 12 millimeter socket set. Rain set we use to take these knots off. The bolts. I think this is the bolt end of it. It's not actually not this bolt. Take it off. 
Let's get it. You gotta make sure when you loosen it, you don't let it fall because it can fall into the cracks of the seat, this back seat, and then you're gonna lose it. Drop the corner, and go to the next one. Right here. And do the same thing here. And for every other one, you need to make sure that this uh, unit is completely loose from the frame of the vehicle. I'm taking all the bolts off, come to this side, a couple of uh, nuts to take off. Uh, first and foremost, I will try to disconnect this uh, head and also uh, take this uh, bolt, I mean the nut off, because here is a chamber, you can just remove it, this is where you have the fuse and the connector uh, for the hybrid power pack, uh, between the hybrid power pack and the vehicle itself. So let's start by taking this off, it's a 10 millimeter. Okay. And then this side too. And ten millimeter. Then over here too. Ten millimeter. And we don't want to. We got another ten millimeter high right here. All these bolts. Next week, another 10 minutes. Okay. So, right now, we've been able to take out this 10 millimeter high right here. Then, there was another one here for the knot, and then right at the base, right here, got two. I took it out. Uh, if you watch the video earlier, you see I took these two off, took them out already. So, right now, it's gonna make this free, and then we just be able to take it off and check that out. That is free, you could just you know push it to the side somewhere so that it doesn't interfere if you can push it. But if you can't, you just try to you know put your hand to get it because it's already you put in on gloves, it's just split it. Uh, then you take this pan out. You just try to regulate it because it's gonna have to come out from uh, the trading. So it might seem like it's stuck, but just regulate it out. <clears throat> You're able to I guess some little bit of leeway now. You just take the whole unit, take it out. And that's it. Check it out. So now this gives us the opportunity to see what we're doing right here, and then we'll be able to disconnect all these leads. Take it out, and then uh, once we disconnect the leads, because these are the leads that connect this uh, hybrid system, you know, to the hybrid power pack, the kind uh, intermediary, uh, the connector between uh, the hybrid power pack and the vehicle. So once you disconnect all the leads, uh, you got this one right here on the side, you push it, you take it off completely, just a push, and then you pull gently. Take this one, you got this one right here, you take it off. It's connected. I think it's a 10 millimeter too. See, all this I'm doing, I got my gloves on on both my hands. Make sure you wear gloves. And I would like to put a disclaimer out there. Uh, if you can't do this, can you consult a service uh, care personnel? Qualified one out there to do this for you. Trying to disconnect all the uh, wirings, the harness uh, that connects uh, the hybrid power pack to the vehicle. We're doing this now. We've got, got uh, pretty much uh, clearance on the, the knot right now. I should be able to, you know, screw with my fingers, which is what I've done. You know, all these that I'm doing, I'm putting so, somewhere safe because I'm going to need to call back on them and use them again. I'm talking about the knots on the bolts and even the clippings and the, uh, the exhaust tubings and all that, all uh, the ventilation and all that. Keep it safe. So if we take a closer look, closer look at what we're doing right now, you see we're taking off this lead out, it's out completely, the other connector coupler is off. And then the next thing is just to take this two out completely. And then we should be good. Take it off. 
we got a, a gloves on very important you can see you got a positive and a negative out there make sure you properly kitted because this could be fatal disclaimer once again get a qualified service personnel to do this for you <clears throat> so right now we'll be able to take it off just take the nuts gently take it off one take the second one off too with the gloves very important and then with that you can just take these two copies off and that's it now we've been able to successfully disconnect uh, this hybrid power pack system from the vehicle this complete disconnection right here and then i normally would tuck this in right here because you can see they got the positive and the negative out there i don't want to take no chances because there might be residual current that is stored up in the capacitor or somewhere up in front where you know it's a hybrid system uh, still gonna have some uh, current uh, you know stored up in the uh, individual components uh, which can ignite uh, or trigger an electrocution or shock i don't know if the voltage is that you know much to to get to that state of electrocution but it's just be better safe safe than sorry just for me i take precautions and that's the way i view it and I also encourage you to do the same. So you just keep all these things where it's not going to be in arm's way. And now you can see we should practically be able to push this old, old unit out, uh, independent of uh, anything else, and they will take it off completely from the vehicle. Just trying to put uh, finishing touches to things to make sure everything is completely uh, free from this hybrid uh, power pack unit, and I'll be able to push it out from the vehicle. So I need to take this model off completely. Completely, because we're gonna push out this unit now for us to test and be sure that we can pull it out. I just push it or pull it towards me. It should slide free because I've taken the bolts off. So look at that. So it's sliding towards me. So you can just take it out. So if it can slide towards you, pull it gently. And I normally I'll put uh, this right over the bumper hedge so that when I put it on here. It will be easy for me just to slide it to the ground. Okay, so the next thing we just take this off and put the replacement on it. So I was trying to take it out. So I went to, I decided to show you guys the replacement. This replacement part right here that I got. I had to buy just a couple like that. And now we're gonna put it to test and put it in the vehicle. So right now, I put the old unit out from the vehicle. That's it right there. And then this is the replacement part that I got. I'm gonna put to replace it. Just doing physical inspection of uh, what we got. Just to make sure everything is probably, probably aligned and everything is looking good. Uh, what we have here. Same thing we have here. So right now I just do the swap, just exchange, and that's it. And then I'll put it to test. All right guys, don't forget to click the like button. Share this video, also leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification icon so you can get notified when we upload new videos. This is your boy, and your DIY. Stay tuned, keep watching. Thanks and God bless. Keep watching, guys. This is replacement. This is the old generator corner. Just checking, see if there's anything missing. Everything looks okay. So just do the full swap as well. Uh, the serial number and every, every number that's the old unit. 
and this is the replacement unit. So it's really 